Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome. Welcome back to Mercury Farms. I think Helgi and Dolores are already down at the uh, the BGA, getting things sort of sorted out. I'm up here at the farm just having a quick check of the animal situation. It look like we're doing okay for the straw and things. I did make have have made some adjustments. You may have noticed since the last episode. We do have some extra chicken pens installed. I did decide um, to sort of adjust this field a little bit. Field 48, 49. I've put the chickens, two extra chicken pens in for the Mercury Farms poultry farm. We have got fields 37, 38, 31 all ploughed together, 47 and 46. Is all ploughed together that was done using the new quad track and the 10 meter plough I'll probably put in a little bit of footage from the b-roll of that um, in the video probably right about now Okay, so that took quite a long time. We didn't finish till late in the evening. In fact, actually, if I run towards the store, I would imagine there's still a sprayer out here somewhere because we was killing weeds as well as we went. Now we've got to do... Um, so we're fertilised and we're ploughed. So I'm guessing once we seed in a moment, we should hit two-stage cultivating. Uh... Our wheat is growing nicely on that field. The weeds are dead. Uh, uh, we've got some oat growing on that field, which is pretty cool as well. I don't know if the grass needs to be cut and harvested yet. We'll have a look at that. Nope, still growing. Still growing. 
that's all right. I don't fancy playing around with the uh, forage harvester today. I do believe, though, that that was just a, one of those random, hey, you know, this is farming sim type glitches that I had the other day with the forage harvester when I was trying to mow the grass. Because when I tried to uh, reproduce the error later on in the day on camera for to send to, to, send to, send to giants in a bug report, I reloaded a backup save so I could mow the field again and it mowed perfectly fine with the header I was trying to use. Right, so is Doug going to be doing weeding today? What we got planted? Because that's going to make my decisions. We've got wheat and oats. We've got our canola on field 60, so the big field is naturally going to have um, wheat and oats put on it. It's going to have canola on it. Because, you know, fuel and pig food is big money in this part of the world on this map. I also do believe we've got the, um, probably, I, th I wonder, I think the sil silo, um, the bunker silo will need emptying today. Well, must have course play open at some point. Did I use course play for one of these fellas? Probably did. Uh, let's do this. Start Doug off. Doug will go off and see how I feel. Using our lovely case. Which means now we can find Dolores. So Dolores is over here. Dolores Blesser was doing the um the weed spraying like for me last night. She was killing the weeds. Oh she's got a bright and early this morning to do the weeds and got that finished off for me so that's why fields 39 47 and 46 are taken care of she's been out and sprayed obviously we're gonna have to spray uh, the big field when the time comes yeah we're at, we've reached that point now in the um, in the series where um, things are really are in place we are you know we're, we're making good money in our little farming endeavor hmm didn't have a lot of wheat did we I guess Dolores will be visiting the store today at some point because we're gonna need some um, I need some food for these chickens. I ain't got none. <laughs> but food for the animals. So yeah, that must be the new pen. Or well, that's an old pen. That's a new pen. That's an old pen. That's an old pen. Right. Yeah. We're, we're in desperate need of food for chickens. 
So what I'm going to do, excuse me for the sneeze, there's going to be another one coming in a minute, I can tell you, I can feel it now. Right, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go get some big bags. Now that was probably stupid. Now I can't pick my bucket up. Dolores, what have you done? Dolores, 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 that was not how you put the bucket on the ground. You've put it, so you can't pick it up now. Woohoo! <laughs> Love the physics in Farm Sim. It's like my summer car, but only from like a big, you know, massive development company with hundreds of staff and not just some little bloke in Sweden or Finland or wherever he's from that does my summer car right Dolores let's go get ourselves one of them big bag things and we'll come back and we'll feed the chickens now by the time people are watching this video there will probably be a whole load of videos on the channel um, on Alien Jim's new map, Washoe, Nevada. And because of that, that's probably pretty clear to people that this particular series, Mercury Farms, will be coming to an end soon. I will be starting to wrap this series up. I feel like I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, and that was can we make money without doing traditional farming? You know, the traditional um, sort of routine that everyone gets sort of stuck into the, the, the cycle of plow cultivate seed fertilize harvest repeat seed you know good morning doris nice to see you um what do i want today i want i want a big bag doodah one of them big bag lift things I want that one. I'm going to have the LSFM one. Then we're going to want some big bags of chicken food. Two thousand liters in that, right? So I'm gonna buy one, two, three, six. No, we'll make it eight thousand liters. Right, another thing I'm quickly gonna do. Sorry to everybody for going into the menus while I'm playing, but uh, let's put it back to pounds, please. Just for this um, video and this series, we'll keep it on pounds for prices rather than US. Washoe, Nevada is obviously going to be US dollars, as will Welker Farms when I play Welker Farms. Uh, the server is just going to be whatever it's set to. The server map will be whatever I've left the game in. I'm not going to keep changing it for the server because I'm not specifically stating where in the world the server map is on, basically. Right, we're going to drive this back to the farm and feed some chickens, hopefully. Now, hopefully these things just empty over the chicken food box area. And don't require me to do anything extra special. I've never really messed around with big bags before. I think the traffic might possibly be turned off as well currently on the map. 
I think whilst I was driving around doing the ploughing and stuff, I turned the, um, whilst I was ploughing this field, I turned the traffic off because they were getting a bit of a nuisance at the bottom of the field there. So I may have to turn that back on as well in a minute. But you can see I put this lovely nice path in, this new path down here. Because obviously I was toying with the idea of just pathing straight through. It's the windmills doing away with this bit of land here altogether. I'm using it for something else. Oh, that's that big bag gone. Back to the store, pick up another one. Come back, rinse, repeat. So, when we do the wheat harvest, let's not turn all the wheat into seeds, please, people. Let's put some in the um, silo so we can feed the chickens. I'll check on the sheep as well soon. They must be getting ready for some hay and water soon. Uh, and I don't know if I've got any. Because, you know, we've been making TMR. Which turned out to be a waste of time. It wasn't profitable at all. Compared to what I've had to spend to put the equipment in place to make it. Plus the time it takes to farm it. Having to use the uh, collecting the straw and oh. there we go. One more big bag of it's, keeps changing what tools are quick. Right. Let me just put the traffic back on. It's gonna save the game. Yeah, traffic's off. Doug's doing what Doug's doing. Helgi's just probably just standing around at the BGA. <laughs> Bag number two for chicken coop number two. This is mainly important just to fill the ones up that were empty. The new pen, two new pens we've got, so we can get them started on production. Good thing is with the fast track, it won't take as long. Right, apparently that pen is full. Apparently that coop is full. I can try. I could turn around this field because um, I I own it. Right, they're gonna have that little bit of food. I'll probably do a cleaning up in front of the pens as well at some point in time. Back to the store. Another bag being brought up. Get the chickens fed. It's a unique way of feeding them, this big bag system, I must admit. I might see that system return for the um, Washoe Nevada series whenever I have chickens, because chickens apparently are good money on that map. Egg prices are crazy. I am using realistic numbers though on that series which makes it a lot harder to judge what's map prices what's been set up by alien jim and what's actually been adjusted by the mod
and cake. More chickens delivered. <laughs> I may end up cutting some of this stuff out because it's getting a bit repetitive. <laughs>
Okay, so Dolores has finished tending the animals. Helgi is coming to do some seeding on this field here, on field 48, 49. And we're going to do a, a, a barley crop, I think. So let's put in field work mode. Start him off on the first waypoint. Drive course, Helgi. So Helgi's going to be able to do that for me. He's going to go up and down this field here. I didn't bother refilling him. How's Doug getting on over here? Eh, Doug's doing all right. Looks like Doug's doing all right. He's got most of this field seeded. Our canola, which is good. This condor is a, a very good machine, very good seeder. Our first time this series, I believe, using this bit of kit. Take a screenshot. We may even catch Helgi in the background look if we look do it that that way. Dolores is back at the BJ now, keeping her eye on the um, silage bunker. It's at about 59%, so we're not unfortunately ready to empty that yet. But we're getting there. It looks like, to me, we've got some bits where he's not actually seeded properly. Um, so, I'm going to... I'm going to go and just basically do a headland strip, because it looks like we've got out a bit of a weird issue where he's not altered the ground in a couple of places. So, there's always a little bit of fine tuning you have to do when you, you, you use workers or you use AI. Because they get a little bit freaked out by things, I think. He's definitely missed little strips, look. And he shouldn't have done because it's all proper ploughed and was properly ploughed, caught and fertilised and lime spreaded and everything. And I haven't, because I haven't used course plate for so long, I also noticed that they've changed, they've obviously been banging out a lot of updates, I've been downloading them, keeping my course plate up to date, although I've not been using it in this series, and on some, and I've certainly not used it on the multiplayer server, because it's not the multiplayer compatible. Um, so, this is like the first time in the last, last couple of episodes as I've been recording this series with the workers that um, I've noticed some changes to the course play that I'm not necessarily such a big fan of like how now when every vehicle when any vehicle finishes a finishes its task like if it was ploughing field 47 and 46 if I started it in this corner here and it finished its course in the top left corner over there 
rather than sit up, stop up there and wait for me to come and collect the truck, the tractor and the cedar, it now always drives itself back across the field, diagonally, back to this point here. And it's like, well, why do I want it to do that? Why would I want it to drive over my freshly seeded crop? Why would I want Causeplay to do that? Anyone? Anyone know? <laughs> I don't know what the devs were thinking when they implemented that change. I'm like, that makes no sense to me. Why you would do such a thing. Right, so we've got the big Amazonia cedar. That's going to get parked back over here. Like so, we've got our... Uh, Canola in on our new field. Our Rostal Smash is going to have a great time harvesting that. In fact, actually, <laughs> it's getting to the point now where I'm thinking one harvester is not going to be enough. Right, so that is finished. Duck's finished. Okay. So a quick run around. We've got all our equipment here. Everything looks to be set up. Tank over there. Uh, big tanker there. Uh, what's that for? That's for liquids. What are we transporting in that then? Digestate? What are you looking at? Dolores? Really? You're watching the um, pooga round, are you? Well, okay. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Um, as I say, silage is at 59%, so that's going to be another day or two before that's finished. Yikes. <laughs> before we can get that out of there and put it in the old um, BGA. Yeah, Doug's over there now. So, Dolores, just watching the poo ground watching how this thing works and trying to figure out how it does work so she can tell me how it works so I can figure out how to incorporate this this effect into my own mod my own uh, manure and slurry storage mod because I would love to have this rotating effect going on without the need for any scripts and stuff so the mod can be then uh, released on PC and consoles via Giants on the mod hub right so Helgi is doing a great job of seeding this field. So I'll bring you guys back in a few moments when he's finished. Right, back at the store. <laughs> Doug has uh, noticed that um, the field needs um, fertilizing. Field, big field 60, our canola field. Our big canola field needs harvesting. So he's decided, rather than muck about with the JCB, even though that is loaded up, he'd come and lease this big monstrosity of a machine for a couple of hours. Doris kindly obliged. So here we go. The Hardy Rubicon 9000. This is one seriously big boom sprayer. Have a look at the old what courses have we got available. Uh, that one works for me. Obviously, we need to auto whip it. And we're spraying weeds. Honestly, this should have this field done in about 
two passes, shouldn't it? I think I've probably got to go down and start at the bottom now. Or back over here. Because I might need to readjust the course in a minute. Good thing about this sprayer is compared to the other drive along sprayers, it's a lot faster than spraying. The others are all sort of seven miles an hour. So at least you can get the field done fairly quickly with this particular sprayer. I was almost thinking to myself I wasn't going to bother doing the wheels on, weeds on this field because it's not like we're growing the crop for food or anything. We're only growing it to make fuel and pig food. So it didn't really matter if the yield's a little bit down. raise it up a little bit because we're obviously going to be on that slope damn what a sprayer hey eh? what a bit of kit hold on how is Doug over there if Doug's in the cab oh dear Doug's got Doug's duplicated Doug's mutating We might keep this as well because we're probably going to have to do the two fields we've just seeded. We're probably going to run up to field uh, the big field, and then once Helgi's finished sowing barley on the other one, jump across to that field and. Uh, Fold him up. We'll have a drive over to the new big field. One of the things I'll have to do as well in a minute is just check, see if we've got any digestate in the uh, BGA silo, get that moved over.
to rotate the course, I think. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Could be this one. Yeah, that one works for me. So I'll tell you what, we'll start at the end where the weeds have appeared. some weed. I was also thinking to myself that that field there actually where um, Helgi's planting barley next time I harvest that field I'm probably just going to replace it with grass I think I think that's probably going to be the, the plan let's chuck grass on it all the fields that meet our needs now. Oh, he's missed bits at this edge of the field too, look. I didn't spot that when he was seeding, or I would have come down and done a headland on this strip too. just slow the time down a little bit I've just realized the time's at 25 times normal speed that's a little bit too fast now I'm trying to accelerate through the day but that is gonna work against me five times is, is sufficient I think <coughs> for doing what I need to do Wax killing me today. <clears throat> it's really bad. See? That's what I was on about. Why is the tractor driven back to there when he's finished? Why didn't he stay up near the chickens when he finished? I don't get why he's doing that. I don't like that change course plate. I really don't. 
you imagine if you've got a big field and you've got crop growth on quite quickly or you're not using growth control or something like that to slow the crops down you could end up with cosplay driving over crop as it's growing with a tractor or something that's got big chunky tires on and messing everything up But anyway, the weeds are done on this field. I'm going to get the weeds done on the other field. And then it's just a case of sit back, wait, wait for the silage to finish fermenting so we can get that done, moved, put in the uh, BGA. And then it'll be wait for these fields to reach harvest readiness. Plus, Helgi stopping there is kind of right in the way for this sprayer. Anyway, I'm just going to have a drive around. Use what's left in the herbicide sprayer. So we've missed the strip all the way along the top of this field, look. And he's missed the strip there, a little bit there. What I'm going to do probably next time, like I say, after I've harvested the barley that Helgi's just planted, I will probably set up a course play course to plough the field. I will then, once that course is generated, to rain paint the whole area with, with the grass texture. I will then turn on allow fields and let course play go to work producing a, a new field, completely new field boundaries. I'll have him do it with turn um, radius. I'll get him to start on the headlands and do headlands and I'll have him use um, turn radius. And we get, we get some, you know, proper actual um, smooth corners so he's just going to sit there are you not having that mate goodbye Come on, Helgi, out away. Stay there for a minute <laughs> whilst I get the rest of this field sprayed. Oh look, there's a narrow strip that we've not sprayed. I think now it's getting stuck. We'll make sure we get the herbicide really concentrated on that.
Perfect. Right, take this back to Doris, say thank you very much. And that'll be it for today's episode. We'll be await eagerly awaiting the crops to grow, the silage to ferment, all that good stuff. <laughs> and as I say, this series, this this particular series, this particular app probably only has a, you know, three or four more episodes left in it before I call it to an end. But I certainly don't want to do a hundred episodes on this map now. I think we've cracked the code. We've 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 achieved success. We've made a success of our 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 um, our, our company. Like I say, we're not necessarily maybe now doing as many contracts as we was when we first started, but we are self-sufficient without actually doing like traditional crop farming. Okay, so I only lease that apparently. In which case then, I best probably return it. <laughs> That's going to cost me more money in leasing costs so thank you everyone for watching today's episode of the mercury farms start from scratch hard economic series i've been see what he so and i'll see you all again for another video very soon goodbye for now